Hey guys, and what is up? And we're going straight back in. This is part six. Yeah, part six. Uh, just doing a constant running session today. Uh, hoping everything's done. So the reason why I'm doing Sphere in these nations is because we can buy the, the resources from them. And it costs us nothing, essentially. Um, because we have it, it costs us nothing. So it makes perfect sense to siege them, uh, to sphere them, because we get access to their coal markets, which are highly profitable and it doesn't cost us anything. So that's why I'm going to constantly keep on switching to reaction just so we can build stuff, because I have no interest in allowing capitalists to do it, because they simply do not do it. It is not done correctly. It is not done to a sufficient level, and it is just disappointing. Um. We need to continue to build up soldiers so we can get more and more units. Our literally does need to admittedly change because it isn't ideal, but it'll do for now. Um, okay, so we, we need to rebuild our entire navy. So we'll go with 40 frigates. Uh, 40 frigates and 20 man wars. So we have plenty of screens and then we have the damage dealers. I believe that's how it works. I'm not 100%, but I know there is a... I, I believe there's a degree of a composition to the navies, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, like, like I said, I've played this game for a long time, but navies has never been something that I've actively looked at and thought, hmm, is there a particular way? It's never been that i've always just assumed that oh bigger ship must be better cool you know um kind of how like you'd perceive that a battleship would be better than a submarine but yet submarines have the capacity to sink literally anything on the on, you know in the world any f floating vessel could be sunk by a submarine quite easily i believe but yet you perceive a battleship to be the best or an aircraft carrier and so forth but, I mean, you know, that that's, that's, it is, you know, there's not much that can change that. Um, I think the Navy, well, Navy will get built. We won't be able to contest the UK, like, at all. Not for right now, anyway. Hopefully, the, the best thing we can hope for is the fact that we get steel steamers before them, are able to build the monitors or ironclads or cruisers, and the UK can't, so their Navy's outdated. Other than that, that not much will change. Um... And I'm okay with that because they can't touch me realistically on land. They'll just get decimated from it. So it actively makes sense for them to stay away. <sighs> Apologies. So Italy is also a reactionary. I think most places... Well, if, if for microing your own industry, reactionary makes so much sense. But... I mean, most most things default to the conservative because they just uh, they only tend to follow. It. How bad is that war going? North generation Norway acquires all. Why? Why are they freeing Norway? They don't actively wish to lose any prestige, so I mean, I guess I guess I'm going in. Thank you so much, Italy. Once again, Italy. Austria is mobilising as you'd expect. I'm sieging down all the miners just to get them out of the war straight away because they're not going to be a huge issue, but they're just going to be a constant thorn in the side. So there you go. That's them out. That's a big battle, which we've won. Wait, I want that unit out. Okay. Okay, very cool. Italy is doing a lot better this war. 
I mean, they're a lot stronger than they used to be. So that makes sense for that. Other than that, I mean, they're only trying to take Venice, which is that region, which is a good region. It's, don't get me wrong. It's got iron and stuff. But I mean, Milan's definitely the best the best region for iron production like 100 percent in italy like there's just nothing better uh our navy is slowly coming to it senior down munich trying to get them out of the war because they're quite strong comparatively to other nations so get them siege down fairly nicely suffered a few casualties but nothing too drastic Bavaria is pretty much going to be out of the war in a second. I don't see any particular reason for them to stay in it. So we've got inorganic chemistry, so we can get nit if we get nitroglycerin, our, fa our mining output improves. So then again, we make more iron, more coal, more you know all that sort of stuff. Um, we will grab positives. So we our education bonus goes up because it's a 1936 tech. Okay, that's the end of them, and we will push into what is the Czech Republic, modern day Czech Republic anyway, um, to seize them down. And knowing my luck, what's going to happen now is Germany will attack. And I can't really defend myself. Would I be surprised if that happened? Not even remotely. Let's once again increase all these factories. So we should... We use up so much more iron than we have, still, sorry, than we ever, ever did. But then again, we've got a larger army and higher consumption of factories now. So, but our number is 132. North German Federation is 131. So they're very close, actually. Um, we've got our, our railroads built pretty much everywhere. Our naval yards are good. So we're probably going to get surpassed fairly soon because that was done. Once again, time to go border up the German border because they're going to be the issues. You can go there and we'll get one cavalry unit for you. Just like that. So, yeah, it, it's very close. So now, how is our exports of stuff? Of So we're getting a lot of sulfur, which is nice, like a decent chunk of sulfur. Um, France, it's sorry, Italy is mobilizing again. Oh, because they're helping out the Egyptians against the Ottomans. Of course they are. We're producing good good amounts of iron now. Are we producing, how are we in comparison? So we currently produce the most in, in the world. However, that really, really won't last that long. Where's our coal? Ah, in northern France, in bits in southern. So we produce a lot of coal as well, which is good to see. Uh, that 1936 tech is now done near enough. Um, what is North German Federation's mill? Eight, and ours is eight. So we're, we're the equaled essentially. Um, we'll get an early railroad just because it makes sense to have. Uh, we'll get we'll build up a 60 just because they are useful. Like that, cool, and then let that build. How is our navy going along? So it's at 45. So all the frigates are done, but now the man of wars are getting done. I imagine, yep, yeah. okay. What was that? I just saw that. I saw plus three, so plus three defense, which is, I mean, oh, we have a plus three attack. Finally, we have an averagely okay general. I didn't think I'd see the day, but here it is. Oh, so we do have... So this fleet did survive. I thought it died entirely. That's my bad. I mean, probably should have realised that. But I didn't. So it is what it is. Oh, well. Um, but that is, again, I believe that is the end of this part as well. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll be in for the recording session today. It's only been a brief. Uh, and I'll probably... I might do... I might, I'm, I'm toying with, the, with a couple ideas... And we'll see. I'm sorry if I just hit the microphone. But um, yeah, I'm torn with a couple of ideas and we'll see how that goes. But I will see you guys in the next part. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please, you know, leave a comment, like, do whatever you feel you need to do. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one.
拜拜。